In 2021, your favorite artist or band is just a click away. Over the years, however, shopping for and collecting records and CDs has become the new trend. But cassette tapes? Guys, did you know cassette tapes were back and they're cool now and retro like the record player? And I'm intrigued to see uh, if these kids remember that they can't leave the cassette in this hot sun. Wes Howerton owns Control Records in Hillcrest. I don't understand that because it was a medium, I guess, because it was around when I was a kid. I was sort of done with it. He has seen requests for cassettes grow over the past year. Kids from Central and Catholic and all the high schools hall, they all come here. Um, after school, not every day, but like they definitely come here and dig through things and ask about stuff and are very much interested in physical media. Sure, someone who grew up in the 80s or the 90s wants a cassette for nostalgia, but why in the world would Gen Zers be listening to cassette? They're just looking for something I think that they can connect with beyond just what they've grown up with. They've, all, they've grown up with the world of music at their hands at any given time through Spotify or Apple Music and they want to be able to like physically connect with something again. Even celebrities are catching on to the trend. Superstars like Dua Lipa and Lady Gaga have albums available on cassette tapes. It's, it's weird, but, uh, but I understand it. Like as a, someone who loves physical media, I completely understand it. I'm, I'm waiting to hear about people ripping out their new radios out of their brand new cars and putting in old cassette decks. Now the question is, is this trend going to continue? All these young kids are starting to know what, I mean, even really young kids are starting to know what cassettes and vinyl are again. And they're not lost on when it comes to art and physical media.